Boom, 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 boom. So, hey, if it was good enough for George... Lucas, it's good enough for me. Um, This is my fourth in a series of tutorials on how to Travis pick. So I'm hoping that uh, this uh, helps those people who still can't Travis pick for whatever reason. Um, uh, I'm hoping that this tutorial, along with the illustrations, uh, will help straighten it out for you so that you can begin playing utilizing this wonderful alternating bass finger style technique. All right, so we're asking ourselves, how difficult can it be to learn one measure of music? One bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. That's all we have to learn. Memorize. Not just with your head, but muscle memory. I'm going to show you two ways to do that tonight. I hope that will help you. The additive method and then the one at the end, which I think will be the key to your success in learning how to Travis pick tonight. Here we are uh, incorporating that uh, finger-picking pattern over five different chord changes in the song First Day of My Life by Connor Oberst. And we're making sure to hit the bass note and that high E string on the first downbeat with every chord change. We're going to teach this to you tonight utilizing two techniques. Stay tuned. talk a little bit about hand positioning. Uh, I like to keep my thumb readily available to handle all the bass strings and I like to position my index finger over the second string and my middle finger over the first string. Because with Travis picking the bass notes are played with the thumb on the downbeat while the middle fingers are going to be plucking upward in between those bass notes. So that's the hand positioning I think works best for this particular Travis, or for any Travis picking style. So that's hand positioning. Before we look at these two techniques for learning how to Travis pick, uh, as with all my tutorials, um, on the left is the left hand which I use to fret with and the numbers of the fingers used to show the uh, chord formations. And on the right hand is my right hand, which I use for plucking the Travis picking style. And uh, those indicating the thumb, index, and middle finger mostly, uh, of which I use in my particular Travis picking scheme that I'm trying to teach you with these tutorials. Now that we have a better perspective of the hand positioning, let's start with the bass notes. With any chord, you have to include the bass note on the first downbeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. After that, after that, including that bass note on the first downbeat of any chord, the whole Travis picking pattern revolves around these four, what we call the top strings, the high strings, the E, the B, the G, and the D, as shown on this color-coded scheme here. So we get the bass notes going, and then we're going to add the index finger. finger on the 
sixth string. First the bass notes. And the index finger. And now the middle finger on the sixth string. but when they add the fourth finger they kind of fall apart so the second method for learning this technique is uh, an approach I call uh, a three-phased approach let me show you so for some people learning this technique that I just showed you um, starting out with the bass notes getting those down on the down beats and then adding the index finger um, and then adding the middle finger that just drives some people absolutely crazy so let's give this technique a try check this diagram out where the four top strings are color coded uh, indigo and orange for inside and outside i'm going to show you this technique that might help you grasp this uh, concept faster and be able to start travis picking sooner I've had several people tell me that uh, this technique seemed to help them a lot faster. Uh, on that first downbeat that we were doing, we're now going to add our middle finger to that uh, first downbeat on one, and together we're going to call that a pinch, and that's the first part of this thing. The next phase of this learning technique is to work the inner strings, the inside strings of these four strings now that we're focusing this Travis picking pattern on. Uh, pinch, inner strings, outer strings, followed by a pluck with the thumb on the G string to end it out. So it's pinch, inner, G string. That, this whole thing, by learning it this way, you avoid that adding which seems to be causing some problems for people. Mind you, this stuff is harder to play slow. So when I screw up, it's because I'm trying to play this slow. And you'll get to the point where that will include you as well. You'll get to be playing this relatively unconsciously. And you'll be able to speed up. And it gets harder to play it slow. have to start slow and your timing is going to be terrible you're going to be doing crap like this and and you're going to get frustrated but you have to persevere with this and it will get better Memorize the pattern first. Speed will come later. A metronome will help you with the timing. Get the accuracy down first. Pinch, inners, outers, G-string, pinch. Perhaps this color-coded scheme, working the pinch first 
followed by the workings of the inners and the outer strings then, and then a completion with the G string. With the C chord I'm holding here. Try that technique. See if that doesn't help you. Just get the pattern down tonight. Pick up the guitar tomorrow. It'll take you a little while to find the pattern again. And then start practicing, repeating it over and over again. Letting muscle memory take over. Another thing that might help you with this technique with the pinch, followed by the workings of the inner strings, followed by the workings of the outer strings, completed with that G string. Something that might help you is to count it out, looking at the diagram, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, two, three, four, one, two, three, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. Start out slow. hard to do slow. Start practicing this so you can do it fast. Good luck with this, you guys. I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, feel free. I usually answer. I usually respond pretty quickly. Um, and if you have any particular songs that are in 4-4 timing that are Travis picked that you might want me to teach you. Also check out, like I say, uh, this is my fourth video, but it's really the, the beginning, so to speak. So check out my other tutorials on Travis Picking. Uh, I'm sure they'll be very helpful as well. The first one. I am my father's son. I've never known when to shut up. I ain't fooling no one no more I am my father's son We don't see eye to eye I'll be the first to admit I never tried Sure it hurts, but it should hurt sometimes we don't see eye to eye 